All right, we have the loser semifinals with Moon River versus Konakami. Yep. Um, I have basically not played this game that much since oscar has been in the game. I know that he uh, he does funny cube. Yep. And uh, when he no glowy, he die. He loves casting spells. It's true. Yep. Uh, these players earlier in bracket did have uh, a previous match. Oh, and now they're fighting in losers? Yep. A rematch. Uh, who won the first one? Uh, Moon River took it 3-1, I believe. But we can see yeah. if uh, Kotokami has any uh, adaptations for this set. Yeah. I mean, the the thing about uh, Asuka is that once you once you start losing, you keep losing. Yep. Um, it's a very snowbally character. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know what any of these buttons do. Yeah, well, uh, he, uh, Oscar has a 2S that's a low. Oh, he's a teleport? Uh, yeah, in test case 3. Okay. Or 2, which uh, they're in test case 3 now because okay. uh, Moon River, huge test case 3 fan, loves the massive cube walls. It's true. Yeah, ooh, no um, more mana. Test uh, case 3 is very uh, mana expensive. Uh, as you can see, loves cubes. It, it real Shadow Wizard money gang. Enter oh, my God. Yep, teleport cube in your face. Some the cubes. Do you get pulled to the scythe too, or is it just the cubes? Uh, so if the cubes touch you, you get pulled towards the uh, gravity well. Okay, yeah. Um, we are gonna we are gonna super through it. Gets the jump in, goes for the sweep, gets the knockdown, and it is cube time, baby. Yes, but this is a different staff. This is the the repulsion staff, so it okay. pushes them away. Okay. And then when they touch you, you get pushed away. All right. What happens if Oscar draws uh, Black Lotus? Uh, well, uh, you, you play Black oh. Lotus and sacrifice it for, uh, two okay. mana, or one mana. I forget, is it three? <laughs> uh, Rack is in the corner, goes for the plus frames, but whips it. Ooh, Shimmy's throw. the throw. And look at that damage. That was... That's, that's with, well, that's with the mana, too. Yep. Yeah, uh, Oscar without mana in this matchup is a dead man walking. All I know about Oscar without mana is that, uh, Geo 2, TOD's him off close slash. Yeah, well, a lot of characters can do that. Ooh, counter hit, wall stick. Oh. Mm, chooses not to break the wall. Far slash throws the sword. RC's maybe trying to beta burst. No sword, two H misses. Gets the 5D, YRC. Cube time, baby. Yeah, gonna refill. Cubes in the air. Oh, Boulder's missing. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, and so that tough. is that is the first game to Moon River. Uh, I guess I I'm getting it's I'm getting to banished to go play Smash. <laughs> A fate worse than death. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna. Okay. All right. Hello, everyone. Jax is here. All right. All right, go. Let's do this. Okay, so let's see. Looks like game one. Oh, right, I just saw the very end of that. Went to Moon River in an incredibly close, like, pixel health comeback. But, ooh, okay, this time, though, the uh, momentum seems to have changed a little bit. So these two have actually fought earlier in bracket today already. So this is the rematch of the century. Konakami is the one who knocked Moon River into losers. Be right back. Okay, sorry, back. Let's see. Okay, Moon River on the back foot once again here. In the corner against Ram is never a spot you want to be, especially with this level of life. However, gets the BRC, manages to reverse the situation out of the corner. As long as you don't get back throw incidented, taking on the 4D experience. Oh my gosh. Metron Screamer sure is a move. It is so good for whiff punishing. It's active forever. It's massive. Oh my gosh. Super plus. All right. This is a single interaction game now on both sides. Oh, okay. Never mind. Doesn't quite get the pickup. This might just be a... Okay, no. Uh, Kona definitely has the meter to survive this. 
but Moon manages to tap the windshield wipers down. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, going into round three. Yeah, Moon is uh, particularly good about getting 6Ps like that. Uh, definitely a strength that comes from her time on, like, Happy Chaos and fighting a lot of characters who like to air dash in. Putting in good work there on Asuka. And, oh my gosh, Kona trying to chase. Teleporting out of the way. Big 5H. Not too much damage off of it, though. Oh no, Kona blocked the overhead, I think, but then got hit by the... Just like the frame trap afterwards. And with that, Moon will go up 2-0. Um, I'll need to go double check, but this is definitely not what I think was happening in their earlier set. Yeah, it was a 3-1 in Kona's favor. So there's always definitely the risk that Kona can just bring this back all of a sudden. Is the burst going to come out here? Nope. Moon choosing to hold it. But Kona in great corner position here. Yeah, the 2S catches the jump input. Big counter hit, and we are going to the corner. Right where Ram wants you to be. Sneaks in the throw, has a hundred meter, so this is about to get spooky. Oh no! Maybe a little bit early on the second throw, or didn't quite realize what the situation was. Still not looking too bad. And I do know that, yeah, <laughs> right there, uh, Ram's sword just deletes basically every projectile in its way as it goes. It is a limited resource. You can only throw it once until you go pick it up or wait long enough. But, uh, oh boy, does it do its job that one time. All right. Kona looking to get a point on the board here. Gets put into the corner. Nice IFDs, though. Can't do too much with it since it was 2H. Um, that move is... Definitely minus, it just at a range where it doesn't matter, so the IFD doesn't change that too much. Oh, it's caught by the tipper end of the explosion. I think that might have been trying to bait a burst, I'm not sure, but... Oh, oh my gosh. Moon River just, like, accidentally moving right on the frame that the super... or the explosion went off. Yeah, out of mana, though, any hit here does so much damage. <laughs> Look at that, there was two hits. Corner pressure. Okay, has mana back, which also means it's a full bar now. Ramlethal back to the wall in the corner. Gets a YRC, but okay, yeah. Goes for the, just the full dash throw. And Kona gets a game on the board. All right, all right. This is loser semi. So winner of this, I believe, actually goes on to fight me. Is that correct? Indeed. Oh, man. The super high juggles. Couldn't quite get the juggle into the corner, but still manages to keep the position, which is at least as important, honestly. Oh, this kills. This is just dead. <laughs> I was like, oh, they didn't do too much, and then the 5P hit, and a quarter of the health disappeared. <laughs> yep. All right. Welcome to commentary, Six. Hello. Oh, boy, that... <laughs> That was just about a kill <laughs> on that wreck of three counter hit, but luckily for Moon River, they're traded a bit. And just doing this corner pressure. Ram, of course, wow. Very strong mash out there and gets to hold the corner position. Okay, drops it a little bit, but hey, we got overheads for that. Oh my goodness, this character's corner pressure seems so strong with all these spells. Yeah, this is definitely a matchup between uh, Ram has just, like, really simple, really strong buttons, uh, and Asuka is, you know, playing, like, four different games of chess at once. But <laughs> as long as he can manage those, that doesn't necessarily become a downside, you know? Oh, has the auto-regen mana? It doesn't beat the burst, but... Okay. So, uh, I was talking about it earlier on here, but the cubes control a ton of space, but you can hit them. It's... Kind of weird how they interact with projectiles. It's almost like move to move basis. But for Ram's sword, because she, you know, has to unequip them to toss it, uh, it just deletes them all in a straight line and then hits Asuka. <laughs> oh, wow. So would this be a good matchup for Asuka? Uh, I think that... I would assume that this is considered strong for Ram. Um, I'm not sure. Asuka is a bit new, and also a character like this is going to take even longer to know for sure. Oh, boy, that was a really... 
That was almost a huge conversion. All right, Moon River looking a little bit low on mana, but has some decent spells for neutral in her hand. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and manages to convert the mana into more, uh, or sorry, tension into more mana. <laughs> Oh, We've got geez. too many bars. <laughs> you can convert your into yeah, he's got three types of reload. Okay, that was an incredibly clutch RC. But, uh, Moon River there, not quite realizing that she needed defaultless to avoid getting chipped out. But yeah, so he can uh, regen it without costing anything, and it's super slow. He can regen it yellow, and it tra uh, converts meter into mana, or red, which converts health and is much faster. But uh, converts health. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We'll drop the ender there, but doesn't quite get punished for it. Uh, that big red fireball is called Metron Screamer. It's like the only one I know. Uh, that move is huge. <laughs> I was about to say, that was like half the stage. Yep. It's huge and it's active forever. All right, we got the... Okay, I was going to say risk is full. Konakami loves to do tap 5D there because when that red, or I guess currently purple bar up at the top is full, uh, any hit becomes a counter hit. Okay, Moon River back to the wall here. Does have burst, but not a whole lot else. And yeah, Kona just with the full chase down. Okay, Moon River almost managed to get like a clean sweep there.